I had my eyes on it from the time, you know, start running, going downfield, and you're looking back. And I, I followed it all the way down, and I caught it. And it was over, over the head, in the end of the hand. It was the impossible catch. Noble Goss's catch against Texas A&M in 1940 that was called the impossible catch is a picture that hangs in all of the halls of Texas memorabilia. I can't even remember how old I was when I first found out that Dad was famous for a second play, one that he didn't make, one that if he'd caught would have propelled the team to the Rose Bowl. We were the number one team in the nation for a number of weeks and undefeated. It's everything you'd need in a good football team. We almost got there, but I didn't make the big play. The great catch that he made against A&M in 1940 is such a part of Texas history. And the play in the Baylor game of 1941 was one play out of 50 or 60 that happened. And that's just the one he remembers. Not a day go by, I don't think about that. You know what? What it meant to us as a team. But in the catch it, I don't know. Just miss the ball. I just don't think that he will probably ever get over that time that he let his teammates down. And I've said to him so many times. Noble people didn't think about you're dropping that pass. You made it one of the greatest catches in football history. But he never did let it soak through. That cost us a national championship. No question about that. And that's what hurts so bad, you know. I think the time that he carried the team on his back to a victory with an impossible catch. It, it didn't mean anything to him. It was just a win for the team. But I think the drop was his drop that cost his team a trip to the Rose Bowl. He agonizes over the fact that he dropped the pass. We've tried to talk him out of it, but he, he won't buy it. It was just an opportunity that he had once in a lifetime, but it just wasn't meant to be. And Noble, we hope you're watching today because there's about a hundred or so Longhorns who want to make you forget that one miscatch and remember the great one you made.